Go, you are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Easy. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Carry him over, then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur that's it. Jose you start poking around see what you can find out about that I have missed you boys I've heard about bounty oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years it'll take a month to find us down here and it seems like we can have a little sport well they're good bounties where you hear this some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles there was talk of super agents or some such. super agents <laughs> I'd love to meet one it's just talk I'm sure it is but I couldn't not tell you stay out of trouble thank you gentlemen Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. 
I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen. It was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> Very funny. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. That's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Passing you. Okay, go! Whoa! I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. the boats you mean yes good I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these come on This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Huh? 
Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. <laughs> You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Nice, you hooked him. They're nibbling. There he is. <clears throat> Got a bite. Ha! Got ya! Ah, I should have had that one. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. You remember that time? We sent Arthur out fishing. He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week... Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. Right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and gray plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Fish on the line, Arthur. 
Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she me in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Something's nibbling. There we go. Arthur's got a bite. That's on the hook, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. Yeah, that's a keeper. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know. What song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Maiden is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this ground, 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 ground. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, round, round. To them we dance this round, round, round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this. Ground 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 Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp think they would have too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know, well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so.
Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. The bastards that spotted me at the bar are taking the bullets out of me gun. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt. Carry a knife or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. <sighs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. 
What are you doing? Mm, go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. Oh, well, the price of wheat is going down again. Good for some. Bad for them farmers. Oh, now I heard it all. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. <sighs> I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep...